Hello again, this is Point on Pally, and in this video we're going to talk about how to split up left, uh, split up a blend shape into left and right sides. So, um, taking a completed blend shape that is set up on both sides and converting it into a left and a right shape individually. So, I have this scene set up here. Uh, this has a base blend shape model here that is connected into the original model here. If you're unfamiliar with how to split off the head to create this base model, I have a video on my channel on how to do that. Um, so this model is connected directly into the original here. This is just a straight individual blend shape, always active set to one. Now on this model, I have this blend shape here that is connected. This is the ooh shape or the pucker shape. This is one I always run into um, when talking about splitting up blend shapes left and right. Um, how to split this up but also have it look correct because uh, I've seen in sculpting programs you know you split it up based on left and right but you have to make a hard cut at the middle and then when you try and smooth both the left and the right side individually then it, the middle starts to uh, freak out a little bit and it just never looks right. Well, Maya has a way to do this for you. So um, we're going to start by activating the blend shape here on this model here. So you can see it's connected to the original. Um, so we're going to start with this model here with the blend shape active and what we're going to use is the edit blend shape weights uh, tool now i will say this before we get into this this tool has in the past been a bit buggy um, it has sometimes kind of freaked out a little bit it sometimes doesn't work the way you intended to i personally have never really run into many problems with it so um and for the splitting of left and right blend shapes, it's worked fine for me. So I can't speak to everyone else. All I know is that this has worked pretty, pretty well for me. So with the model selected in here and the blend shape active, we're going to go to deform, okay, weights down here, and blend shape. We'll just open the option box here. So we're going to click on the ooh both. So the O shape or the pucker shape here. Now we're not going to use the brush at all. What we're actually going to do is we're going to select the verts but only on one side. Now I had when I was sculpting I had symmetry settings turned on so I'll make sure that is off because I don't want to select one on either side. Now this is where uh, using the orthographic view will be very handy. And we want the front view here. So it's a lot easier to do it this way because you can get a very good sense of where to select. Now we are only going to select the verts on the right side here. So I'm going to do my best here to try and only click, only drag click the verts on the right side. Something like that. Now I got the center verts here, this the middle line, that's fine. Um, we can make adjustments on that later, but looks like we did a pretty good job here of getting all the verts on the right side. So now that we've done that, we can go back into the tool. I'm just going to click Y that re-enters the tool. And we're just going to replace with a value of zero and hit flood. So now we go into the perspective view here you can see when we set the value to zero, we essentially um, remove the influence of the blend shape. So you can see on the left side of the model here, or the character's left side of the model here, it is 100% active. On the character's right side, it is 0% active. So that looks pretty good. That's exactly what we're looking for here. Um, now we're going to go through the process of smoothing the difference here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the center line verts here. And I should be able to do that just by double clicking, making sure I got the center verts. 
if you don't get this the back side here of the model it's okay i mean you're really only focusing on just the mouth area of the character so if you don't if you're not getting the back side it's all right um, but with the center line vert active click the u shape replace with a value of 0.5 i'm going to hit flood and you'll see what happens so these verts have been kind of averaged out so 50 percent so that looks good and then from here i'm going to deselect the verts and just select the main model itself and here we're going to click the smooth brush and we're going to click flood a few times. Now, depending on the density of your model, I mean, how, uh, the poly count of your model and things like that, how many times you smooth is going to be really up to you. Um, but if I start clicking smooth, we'll start with five. One, two, three, four, five. So you can tell as I'm doing that, you can see that this is getting smooth. We'll do a few more because this is a very extreme shape for the mouth. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That looks good. Now you'll notice I'm, I'm specifically counting how many times I click the flood, because if you do want this to be perfectly symmetrical, you have to kind of memorize how many times you have clicked this flood button for the smooth. So I know I clicked it ten times, and there we go. So it's a left side that has been smoothed out in the center. So at this point, I can just double, I can just duplicate the model here. And there we go, we got the left side model. And now we'll do the right side model. So I'm just going to revert everything back. So I'm just gonna hit replace with a value of one and hit flood. So it converts uh, the model back to its original or the blend shape settings back to its original setup where the entire model is following 100%. And we're going to do the same process for the other side. So I'm going to go back into vertex mode here. And I'm going to try and click drag the left side verts here. Looks like I got everything. I didn't include the middle one this time. That's OK, because we're again, we're going to average that central line of verts go here, replace with a value of zero, hit flood, there we go. And we're going to click that central line of verts, one, and double click the next one to get the whole edge loop. Go back in, we're going to replace with a value of 0.5, hit flood, there we go. Now we're going to deselect the verts and select the original model, or the whole model. And we're going to click smooth. And remember, we counted 10, so we're going to make sure we do 10 times again. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And there we go. So we can duplicate it, move it up. And there we go. We got our left and our right side. So I'm going to set flood this back to a value of one to make the entire thing active. And now what we can do is add these blend shapes to the original. Um, I'm a little old school, so I'm just going to do this the old way. Um, specify node, face shape. Line close. A little bit old school there, but there are our blend shapes. So let's look at them individually. So there's the right shape, the right U shape, and the left U shape. And you'll notice that when I activate them together, we get that original shape. So this is a way that we can split it up left and right, smooth it out so that it looks nice individually, and make sure that when they're both active, we achieve that same original shape. So this has been really helpful. Again, um, the Edit Blend Shape Weights tool has been a bit buggy in the past. So um, 
if you run into problems there, you know, it is kind of uh, the nature of the tool. It's a little bit old, but I personally haven't run into too many problems with it. So, um, but if I hope this is what you're looking for, if you need to split the blend shapes up. So if you like this video, like, and subscribe to my channel, keep the channel going and I look forward to the next video.